Ears. Can I have your eyes all oh, for just a moment? We're going to talk for just a quick second. Man, you guys are organizing like crazy. I want to stop and make a point, and I want you to think about this with me for a second. Nonfiction writers organize their ideas by thinking about how common things kind of fit together. So just like we were reading, we were reading and we were thinking about how we were going to hold on to the text in those file folders in our brain, you have to figure out what goes together. So this is kind of our mid-workshop teaching point, and here's what I want you to know. Look at what you've got so far on, in front of you. And I want you to think about if this was a filing cabinet, are all the right ideas in the right file folders? Are the ideas that I've collected organized in a way where if I open the file, file, would everything inside that file folder match and go together? So here's the thing. You might discover that some of the sections that you've been writing, you got lots of information, but maybe other sections, your file folder's kind of empty. You don't really know enough about this particular topic or this subtopic that you need to do a little bit more research. For example, I have one in mind on cockroaches about using poison, and I've jotted down a couple of things that I want to include, but the more I write, the more I'm like, ooh, I don't really know enough. So like, I have aerosol powder, liquid, gas. These are all the types of poison that you can use to kill cockroaches. But the truth is I jotted here in the corner that I need to go back and do a little bit more research. Because even though I'm an expert on the topic, I might need to research or do a writer's workshop. If you need to hop on a device and do a little research, are you allowed to do that? Now, do we want to use the whole time for research or part of the time for actual organizing our thoughts, right? So kind of balancing that out. I want you to, if you need to hop online and do a little research further, feel free, but keep moving on from section to section. You have about seven more minutes of writer's workshop, and I'll be coming around to see how it's going. But remember, if you get a section that you're like, I've got a couple of ideas, but I need to go a little further, you can do that, okay? Keep writing. You guys are writing like crazy today.